Hi, I'm Samuel Varghese, and this is Tools for Storytelling. In this episode, we'll be covering two ways to set a custom white balance. The first way will be by manually dialing in the Kelvin temperature, and the second way will be by using a reference point, like a white card, a gray card, or a pale-skinned friend. Just kidding, don't do that, it won't work. And action. Here's what dialing in the Kelvin temperature looks like on a Panasonic GH4. The menus on your camera may not look exactly the same, but hopefully it'll be similar enough that you can follow along. To get into the white balance menu, press the white balance button labeled WB on the top right side of the camera. Then scroll to the icon with the K, which stands for Kelvin. This camera shows us what the Kelvin temperature is currently set to here. Next, we'll click the top of the dial, which opens the Kelvin scale, which sort of looks like a thermostat, and allows us to set the specific temperature we'd like. Once we've got the temperature where we like it, we'll click set and we're good to go. So that's how you dial in your white balance manually. Now let's set our white balance with a reference point, like a white balance card or a gray card. If you don't have one of those, you can use a sheet of white paper. Just like before, we'll open the white balance menu and this time scroll to the custom icon. As you can see, this camera gives you four slots for custom settings. Next, click the top of the dial to open the custom menu. This will open a yellow box in the middle of the frame, which is where we'll place our reference card. When you're doing this, make sure that the light that's hitting your reference card is the same light that'll be hitting your subject and that the reference card is being properly exposed. That is to say, it's not too dimly or brightly lit. Once the reference card is in the box, click set or the shutter button, and that's it, you're done. If you like this video, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.